Hey guys, it's Lina Abdul and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, what's popping, guys? It's been a little minute, but that's okay. That's okay. We back and we better. And actually, I'm gonna give you guys some more detailed school advice. I feel like you guys might like this one more because I paid. I went down. I went down in the dirt for this video for you guys, right? Um. So yeah, let's get into it. So guys, we gotta get into these advice. But first of all, first thing I wanna say is that with the advice, I'm actually gonna break it up into two sections the first section will be for primary school students and uh, which might be middle school and then high school which will be secondary school right so first thing we're going with the primary school students and it actually has an age group because why would i be telling first years and second years these things oh okay so number one take it easy on yourself don't be too hard on yourself, especially when it comes to exams, right? SCA is just an exam that everyone is taking on the same exact day. I know the pressure is just like stupid high, but you know what? It's not that deep. Because at the end of the day, you are not what the SCA results are, okay? But if you are like in a position to tell, Mommy, daddy, auntie, grandpa, neighbor. This is not who I am. This is not my personality. Then be, you know, just tell them. And that's fine because some some family members, and even you know, they may not be family, but you know, you still look up to them. Or maybe at least just show respect to them. Some of them, they don't know when to stop. Right? They just don't know when to stop. And they don't realize how much more pressure they are adding when they do that. So you know, if you're in a position to tell them, hey, you know, like, can I stop and not really going to change anything, but then do that. But if you know you come from a household where you just have to hush and take the legs and just go through with it, we, we have to do what we have to do, right? And obviously, when you're telling your aunt and your uncle and whoever, you know, uncle, partner, obviously, you can't say it like that, but you know, just, just be mindful that it's not my personality, so don't make I see my personality and yeah. how how do you wish I'm good? You understand? Like say it in a respectful way. Okay? So you know the girl might be like, hey girl, I see you coming up, you're everybody's and I'm like, yeah, but it's trying to you know, I don't really like talking about it so much. I mean the pressure that I really so you know. Like that. Like that. Another thing, smart is not the real. Yes, the word smart is not real. Now I am saying shipping it, I know what I'm saying. The word smart is not real. So, for example, he's so smart, she's so smart, and you know the famous line, why you can't be smart like. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, smart is not real, right? Everyone has the same amount of potential. It's just if you're willing to work towards it and set aside time and sacrifice, hey, I know I could go out every weekend this month, but I'm gonna set aside two weekends. To put you into school and that will be the difference between the c student and the a student all right and coming back from that work smart not hard and that's the next one work smart not hard because you know you don't want to be cramming two weeks before end of term mid term exams you know you want to start at least from the second week of school school starts in september right or january depends you know depends on which break we're on and you want to start revising one time because let me tell you something in a blink of an eye it's midterms and right after that it's end of terms so it's like you need to be on your aim and like i said work smart and not hard because let me tell you something the pressure is multiplied like that and let me tell you when you take a notes and stuff like i said in the previous school advice flashcards i think i think i said that use flashcards right to help you study but what i'm saying is like the, the notes will pile up really quickly and with all the fun and games you might be having yes i know you all might be young but at the end of the day if you really want to create academic validation 
it is how to do it, right? Um, friends. <laughs> Right, friends. Do not hesitate to lose friends over a snack or a dollar or one of the boys had his camera pick up your little sister when school finished. Yeah, no, do Who have the time for that? We don't have the time for that. We don't. We actually don't have the time for that. Right? Be respectful to your teachers, guys. Yes, I know this is half time with teachers that is be like. Yeah, I know, I know, I know there's half teachers like that, but still be respectful, right? That would be the difference between, you know, she was a real nice student, I mean, you know, she might want a Christmas hamper, and know she will be going through things at home, or, or yeah, she might have a little difficulties when it comes to you know, your school, but he's a very respectful young man, and you know, I might want to, you know, that's, that's the difference between being respectful and, you know? um be careful who you lend your stationery to let me tell you something the amount i don't care if it's girls or boys they will try to take a stationery let me tell you something don't get me started guys right? not many people like it when you have the mechanical pencils or the real nice sharpener yeah make sure to write on your names on your stuff like literally on everything and that's the difference between you know losing your stuff and being like yeah i know that is mine and then the others i'd be like i wonder if that's my word because it have some real good liars and have some liars that have their phd in lying and um like me i encounter that many times i think somebody even stole my lunch Oh, no way. But anyways, guys. Anyways, we're not going to get into that. What I'm trying to say is, if you have your book bag, mark it down with that, right? Just mark it down. And like your pencil or your pencil case. So you know the material of your pencil case and your book bag, it may be the same kind of cloth material versus as on your pen, you would use a tape. For your book bag and your pencil case, you write your name with a marker, right? Put me a marker, it doesn't matter. Well, yes, it does, right? And then, and preferably write it on the inside, the inside of the book bag. So, you know, once you open the book bag with the stick, they're gonna write your name on the flip, the flip inside, the bottom, right? Right. And, well, for, hold on. And, um, for like the pens and the pencils and the um, sharpeners and stuff, you're gonna want to write a name on like tape and stuff and do that, right? Oh, so, you guys can't make money at school. It's on a little difficult, it's on a little sketchy look, it's on scale. But I'm telling you, if I had the opportunity to go back in school and sell stuff, I would have done that. I know some schools do, they won't allow you to do it, and then some schools is like, you know, I don't think they might allow me to do it, but if I could get the money or if I could go and talk to the principal and see what could happen. Maybe I might just at least get to sell stuff maybe one Friday of the month or at least one day of the week, you know? So yeah, save guys, save guys when you sell your stuff and mind you, when you sell your stuff, right, be different. So if you know the cafe, the cafeteria, they sell chocolate cookies, you be different and sell icing chocolate covered cookies or sprinkles chocolate cover cookies you know be different because you want sales everybody wants a little puzzles in their life right? also if you're starting off so like school starting in september and you want to start okay if school happening in september don't be look, oh gosh wait till like the third or the fourth week in september right yeah don't, don't rush into it because it's september <laughs> um you want to not try to thrust or loan anybody a cookie or a pencil or anything like that you need to save the money and then you sell them it because you want to make sure that once you start sorry once you start selling you want to make sure that you know like when two three four weeks go down the line you, everybody already have a name back of their head uh -uh, she didn't really deal up with the loan and you know 
Well, I could take it now and I'm not bringing for him Friday and mommy him and my school. Yeah, no, you want to avoid all of that because that's how they just be like, oh, shut up, I forget, I forget, I forget, I forget, I forget, I forget. And then you're like so fed up and tired of them. It's like, you know what, just forget. You know, and then you just want to see. So, yeah. And also when you're pricing and stuff, let somebody help you. Maybe like an older cousin or like, you know, auntie, somebody help your prices out because, yeah. Uh, learn to save obviously if you you know doing that or maybe if you're not uh you know you can't really go to grocery and see your granny to buy a box of cookies or some cupcakes or something like that but at least whenever you get money for school because they might give you money for you know to buy a little breakfast because not every money might be able to you know have breakfast at home or lunch money or just snack money you can you know maybe three days out of the week three days out of the five days in the school week you know you can save some money or at least you know just have a budget so that way all the snack money you hold that back and you save it and you will have your money for breakfast and you have money for lunch right and then what you're gonna do especially being so young you can use the same grocery bag that auntie and granny and mommy just come back home with everybody have in the house yeah the cupboard with all the grocery bags and it just inside each other yeah just take one of those obviously not one with a hole and don't tell anybody no it's not like a, 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 a if, if you if you want people to go dipping in your in your in a savings plastic bag you go right ahead and tell auntie call mary tell john and they will all swarm in your room at different times too maybe when you're sleeping alone and take out the money and we don't want that because you know why we want to save because you know why we want to go five islands next month we see it have a deal coming out next month we want to go to big with granny when it's the republic holiday we want to save up and be like well granny you know savings or put it towards the fee or when you go over to be with granny you could buy a little starbucks or a ritual with that money right learn to iron your clothes i learned to do that at a young age even wash my clothes comb my hair you know because not every day mommy or auntie or whoever could pass the little brush right and obviously it will help you prepare for when you, you're going to big school which is secondary school and even when it's time to get a job who knows you might go over by auntie or cousin for the vacation and auntie and cousin cannot do your hair you understand because you know the schedule so that's why you know you should always prepare yourself and you should never be in a position where you have to depend on auntie and them. like you should be able to at least put your hair in a bun wash your face wash your foot you understand like do these basic things and it will take you very far my friend drama is not your best friend what did i say i said drama is not your best friend yeah i just said that drama is not your best friend now some people like to take dramas really far but no it can get very far if you take it very far right so in other words if someone tells you something about someone else so if i tell a something about b right it have to stop by you i am trusting you to not go and tell c d e and f because c d e and f is friends with b right you don't want to do that it will stop by you i want it stops by you that is it it vanished like you tell me that i don't remember you telling me that you know it stops by you obviously if it's something that is like serious where it's like oh maybe i should tell mommy maybe i should tell the principal maybe i should tell the teacher then by all means you can but obviously if it's questionable meaning like um i don't know something crazy like the house burned down like b house burned down and because b house burned down b living on the street and b had to come to school by walking b had no money now you could go and tell the principal and mommy and whoever that but if b coming to school with you know she little watch she nice little chewy 
you know yeah look can you put together like you know a little something like a real sleek style that will make you question if beef really sleeping on the streets you know she might have a little night pad and things so it's like if he really sleeping on the streets right and the house burned down she didn't even have money to come to school and if the money ain't come to school with her that means the money get burned down then as i wait let me go and ask B to see what this you know you and B have a little private time you know just make sure they come from and be like B I hear something about you sleeping on the street thing the time I walk to school B gonna be like oh but look, look how I look in you understand and that's how it should be it's better you go and confront the person yourself and it's just you and the person not you the person and the person best friend cause no way no way no way we do that right so yeah guys that's it for the standard five standard four standard three standard twos i mean the standard twos might not really you know be at that position but let me say something i know i've seen and i've heard in some stuff and shy <laughs> i've also experienced come on what the hell why are you flattering me this <laughs> okay so now we're going on to secondary school students. Secondary school students, this is from form one to form five or even form six. I'm not too sure about the the um upper six, they have upper six, I know six, but gosh, they don't care. All of them, yeah. So number one, be the best version of yourself. Did you hear what I said? I said be the best version of yourself. If you don't like the feelings or the thoughts you may get and how you may act when you get mad or some kind of thing when something happens, right? Act like the person you admire the most. For example, let's say you admire a female that is always calm when someone yells at her. That she's always calm when someone will be like, you're ugly, you're this, you're that. If she's always calm, be like her. Try your best to be like her, right? Obviously, you know, we want to be like ourselves, but if we want to be the best version of ourselves, and this is someone that we admire, once we try, you know, we might not notice it, but you know? And the same thing for young men. If you want to stop fighting and tell you, you know, like get your grades up and stuff, you know, you might admire somebody, you know, a guy that my pray when somebody threatening on work you know or when somebody provoking because i know a lot of times especially in the higher classes right um a lot of boys just be provoking each other and i don't understand them but like i said they are boys so we kind of expect them to act like men but for the young men that are looking out do be sure to you know just if you don't want to see yourself on the news looking real negative because you know you know how things are happening in the news right it is it's like the child ended up in a fight and the fight was because of a girl when really and truly the fight was because brother man was provoking him brother man tapping in the head choking I, i've seen it okay i've seen it somebody hit i have seen it so if you want to be that better vision of yourself, just always try to remember the person that you look up to the most. The person that you can say, you know what, if ever something was happen to me, I could call this person. That's the person that that's the person right there. Because at the end of the day, we want to be that gentleman. We want to be that young lady. We want to represent any most, any most bestest way. <laughs> right? Obviously, it's not a way, but a way. Any most elegant way ever right guys and that note i'm not saying to not mess up because in life if you don't mess up something wrong like something is wrong and i personally would think that something is wrong with you because how how you could always do everything right how how you how it's not making sense to me personally but it okay so yes even though i said you know we want to be the best version of ourselves and you know xyz that doesn't mean to say that you can't mess up you can't slip up you can't oh gosh boy i really didn't mean to do that to nobody not be it i really hit the bad stuff because he was really about me i understand i understand 
I know exactly how you feel. And especially being a young lady, I understand it. But that's another story for another day. <laughs> um, but yeah, and you want to be that young lady or that gentleman that you know, auntie, or maybe even the teacher from primary school remembers it, like, you know, something about that child. Like, even if, even if somebody was to piss you off, like, really, really bad, and you end up in a fight for that person, you end up shouting the whole world, hearing you, the whole, the whole world is hearing you saying what you have to say, right? It should be the difference between people looking and judging, like, hmm, I better I stay away from you, know? Hmm, ting, ting, ting. The fact that you came on, the fact that she came on, now me, now, shake my head. That's the difference between them acting like that and then they are coming to, hey, I know, I know, like, you know, things in life just happen, but go and turn day, like, I never really see a fight nobody and they are so, so, you know, I just think of something, I don't be well wrong. You want to water or something, you look at me, you wipe, wipe your face and thing, and then blood and thing. So, by you being a gentleman, by you being a young lady, that would be the difference between people coming up to you and be like, hey, you all right? You okay? And then you'll be like, yeah, boy, I just, I just, you know, I have to let them know what time it is because I was only provoking men versus as people just disappearing like that out there in life, you know? Um. So, yeah, guys. Because, let me tell you something. Aggravated assault is a serious thing. <laughs> and I know how crazy our mind looks, right? Like, I am one of them, <laughs> right? And it's only God that can really tone you down, okay? Literally. But anyways, guys, you need to remember that, you know, you guys need to remember that this is not necessarily who you want to be remembered as, you know, we, we don't want we don't want that for ourselves. Maybe when we be that better version of ourselves, we be that person that we always wanted to be, you know, growing up. Like I tell other people, right? Be the adult, be the young lady, be the young man that you needed when you were growing up. Be that adult you needed. Now you might be like, how oh, I can be the adult that I needed? Yeah. Yeah. When you have to encounter something with somebody, and it, uh, trust me, it does happen. It does happen. Um, yeah. Trust me, it does happen. Like, that's be that person. If you know somebody, if you know when you was crying and bowing and screaming, lying on the ground, three o'clock in the morning, asking God to stop the pain, you know, to make it better, you would have felt if you had to pick up the phone and call somebody and decline your call. You be that version, you be that person, and like, you know, it's shock like in the morning. I remember one night I called somebody, check like in the morning, telling them this is how I feel, you know, you know, and they never answer. Well, if something, well, if I was to really do something, you know, you be that person, you answer the call, you understand? Obviously, you don't have to go to that extent, but you know, just so you guys could get a better understanding of what I am saying, um, so yeah, and who knows, another thing, like. Even in a situation like that, when you practice a lot of composure, even with the same fighting, yes, auntie, yes, teacher from preschool, you know, like they may have seen you and be like, you know, I see him fight with somebody the other day, you know, I see her blaze out somebody the other day, you know, but you know what? She was always a young lady of composure and a classy character. And he was always the sweetest gentleman, no matter how dumb he is, he will always be up. You understand? And that could be the difference between hmm, I have a little position and know somebody in me, but I like what he do the other day. Versus, as you know, I have somebody in me. I see him fight the other day, but I know he wouldn't fight nobody just so. So let me tell him, and I'm gonna tell the CEO that there's this person. I have somebody for him. You know, that's the difference. That's that's what we're aiming for. We're not aiming for no. Not that person, huh? Another thing, stay hydrated. These days it's making real hot. 
I don't know if it's just summertime, but it's very hot. It's very, very hot. I'm telling you, it's very hot. It's hot. It's starting to make people bleed five times are over. I'm not even kidding. This is really hard easy. So stay hydrated, okay? Let me tell you something. It, could, it will do wonders. I feel like you guys said this already. But it will clear up the level marks, the acne, you know, stuff like that. And even if, let me say, you ain't eat breakfast, a snack, a lunch, a school day. At least you know you're drinking your water, you have your water and your water, you know? Fully, fully in your up to a percentage, right? And then we say, you might be eating snacks the whole week because you just decided to save your breakfast and your lunch money. I ain't saying no. The money you had to make. <laughs> money you had to make. But drink your water. Drink your water, guys. And you will see results right because it's gonna it's really gonna help us with our brain work <laughs> be active be active in many ways move your body is basically what i'm saying right physical activity we are here for it obviously not every day you have to be active but be active on most days right so like it could be going for a walk riding your bike being a little catch on freeze or tug of war uh, a water fight, you know, like anything to be active and have your body going, your heart pumping. And you could do things like even skip as well, right? Like it really, it really, I don't think it has limits to that. Like do anything. You could dance and all. Dance, literally dance. Who doesn't love to dance? Obviously, you know, you might want to dance in front of other people. But you could dance in your shower, and I feel like everybody does do that. I don't think that's like a question anymore. Dance in your shower, right? Sing in your head, play music, I don't know, dance. And also, when you say active, in addition to drinking your water, trust me, it is going to help you when it comes to, like, if you don't want to take vitamins or supplements, or maybe you're not in a position where you can take vitamins or supplements, it will help you. It will help the brain function. Trust me, and it will also affect your academics, meaning that it will cause it to be more you know awake when it's time to study and even when you're in schooling you're feeling tired the moment you walk out the door and point your tears you understand um be selective with your friends not every smile is happy and i'm gonna say that again be selective with your friends because not every smile is happy okay no because it might seem like a best friendship but it don't have to be like that you might be telling that person hey there's no going on and that person telling hey what also going on you understand so just be selective don't be too quick to open up and share about what is happening and what went on xyz they could talk about so many things without talking about what is going on with you you know what is going on with you because you and you is two different I feel like everybody knows this but you thought the thing one way and then you had this like another way okay this next one not every smile is happy and what I mean by that is, that is like when you see you know your friends or maybe even a classmate maybe even somebody that you know just going to school and they don't have to be in your class or just a simple hi you're real pretty or hi or a little hug or how are you these little things let me tell you something it does make a very big difference because like i said not every smile is a happy smile sometimes a smile is just a cover-up and i can tell you that because i just always do it i just always do it i don't think there's ever a time that i i never did it you know obviously you'll be able to tell the difference between a happy smile and a yeah I feel like we all do that, especially like with old people. I don't know, I just do it. I just like, yeah. Yeah. But when I with my friends, it's yes. You know? But yeah, pay attention to the friends that are always giggly and, you know, joyous because sometimes it's just a cover up. Like me, I was used to do that. I still do, but I don't really be around people anymore like that. 
to cover it up as much, you know? So if you're paying attention to these super, super, super kawaii people, right? Most of the time, like for me, most of the time, I say to young men, like they would be really, really fun, huh? And I can't do, like, I can't even say half of them. I'm telling you, one of them had like a hard story, a different story, if anything, especially being a schoolboy, you know, like it's different. And then usually the bubbly ones would be like mostly the girls, um, but yes, they are young men, you know, yes, they are young men that are bubbly. Pay attention to them, guys. Like, yes, obviously, like the same quiet, quiet, quiet ones. They might take a really long time for them to be like, just a little, it might take a little while. I'm, I'm telling you, it might take a little long, very wide, long, long while to, you know, talk and stuff. But at least we know for sure that once they start talking, you literally just gained a lifelong friend. Like, no matter the distance. I tell you, it's them type of people that would be like, I'll be there for you, you know that kind of thing? School relationships. I personally don't suggest that, okay? It's almost like how to say, digging any garbage for food. I'm uh, sorry, I, I don't mean to be so rough, but I, I try, I try, I, I'm trying, I'm trying to, to be a better version of myself, okay? But it's almost like digging any garbage for food, like, for real, especially if you now entering the high school, secondary school phase. Let me tell you something, being a freshman or form one, like, I'm telling you, it's different. Those study them, telling, especially the older boys, like, I don't know what the form types have with the form ones, but me personally was getting very much for this. I didn't say how to, but from the looks, from the looks of it, from the looks of it, I don't do that because especially being a foreman, you're now coming into the school, right? And it's like everybody from form to go up to form six, everybody done talking to somebody or at least talk to one person in the whole school period. And no matter how much of a romantic level it was on when it might be, you know, yeah. And they stop talking or yeah. I know they stop talking. You know that kind of thing like no matter the level, somebody talk to somebody and I just find it just a waste of time because in most of those cases, the first school relationship or this first romantic something, romantic piece or something, the first situationship in school to ever, you know, like every anybody, the first situationship in school, I wouldn't even say relationship because <laughs> when we have this that. Right? I would only believe the grandparents and the aunties and them. Right? That, but that's just me though. That's just me. Like, obviously, if a person is for you and you know, like God really put all in together, then everybody will know. Everybody will know that God put it together. Right? But what I'm saying is, like, don't necessarily push for it because that's like where the first was heartbreak. But it might be like, you need to help for like two days. All they talk do, and if you see him talking to somebody else, you'll be like, hmm. and they will start to play on your mind. So they even bother about it. Focus on this one and just push through that, to be honest, because after the time, especially being so young, it's not like I even get to go out and see the person like that. It's just a waste of time. The most of my get to do is message them, I think. And when I'm messaging you, then messaging five other people. And it's a school of 600, so five is like a joke. But anyways, anyways, go to lessons. Yes, some students may not need it like me. I wanted to join my school lessons and my teacher was like, you don't need lessons to do. I'm like, but I want I want to come lessons, you know, it just seems so fun. But that was just me trying to, you know, the you know, But like, I actually wanted to go to lessons. So like, you know, like be with my friend just one more day, which would have been like Saturday in the evening, right? If you, you know, not in a position to attend lessons, Check for one of your classmates that are going to a lessons somewhere. Oh, by the way, guys, I know that there's this man called Kevin Springer. You guys can check him out. This is not a sponsored video, but let me tell you something. I sure have really probably done more about it. He uses videos because I remember one time I was preparing for exams and I was on YouTube watching his videos. 
like I said, if you not in a position where you cannot maybe afford the students or whatever the case might be, or at least you know, auntie's a teacher, but auntie have children, so you know, you can't really go my auntie for lessons. Um, check one of your classmates start going to some lessons and try to figure out what their, their schedule is like if they just go to lessons every Sunday and Saturday from 9 to 12 in the morning. You tell yourself, well, you know what, if she could do it. Sunday and Saturday, I could do it. Sunday and Saturday, nine to twelve. And then you ask her or ask him, "Hey, what topics are you doing right now?" And then he'll be like, "Well, right now, my my lesson teacher, you know, we cover any more difficult topics, and then we go on to the easier topics. So that way, when it's time for exams and things, the harder topics could be a breeze, right? And you try and teach yourself. I know it'll be hard, but we have YouTube, we have Google. I think there's like some other apps. You ask me the apps. I don't know the apps. I just I told him. I, I told him. <laughs> but you know, like ask them, like ask whoever it is. You know, you, you work from there. You try and teach yourself. You know, obviously, you might not get all right. I could maybe even ask a teacher. And yes, we know the teachers, and then we'll just be piling up like that. Because I remember I used to do that as a vision, you know, go home. And especially with algebra, I would go, go home, sorry. I would go home and, you know, practice some questions, make up some questions, and then carry to school for say the next day but then after that when i tried continuing it was like <sighs> might as well no bother because still always had you know other classes and stuff to correct so it's like you know i just left it like that but i it didn't stop me from practicing you guys can ask the same friend the same classmate it it could be somebody else in a different class at all they don't have to be a classmate because we all know we just make friends from other classes especially if it's somebody from a higher class they can be like you know i kind of have any difficulty with this you could you know check it for me during break time during lunch time you know and tell me you know where it is i need to work on or explain it to me properly because i know miss or so going to lunch or you know the, the leave school for half day you know whatever like that tell them to check it for you or if they you know maybe not as confident in themselves or you know maybe just don't want to do it you can probably ask them to ask their lessons teacher so you know take the little sheet you have folder pages or you can just rip out a sheet in your notebook now i'm really trying to tell you mash up your notebook okay but we had to do what we had to do to get from point a to point b all the way to z make it look neat you know make sure you hand write it clean and think because we don't we, would, we don't want to get down your paper and then carry it for the lessons teacher and the lessons teacher squinting but i just right okay okay so that has another option right or and like like i said if you have auntie or uncle or whoever ask them you know just to check it and thing or also be mindful of who you know you're also telling hey you know what is this doing lessons and if you could check it for me because like i said not everybody willing to see others win make sure you choose subjects that you can manage you don't want to go and overwork yourself and be like i go in and choose 10 topics 50 70 45 you don't want to do that and then when it's time for exams you're like you can't breathe you're going to school thinking you have maths when you really have english you don't want to be in that position at all you know put yourself at a manageable rate flow and study when serious right also you don't want to choose a subject like so you've chosen subjects today and you're going to pick art but then you're in the back of your head it's like girl you know how long you enjoy butterfly since standard one and you want to come and do this now no i'm, I'm saying don't do it eh? because trust me it is it is actually making me better what i'm saying is if you know art is not really going and help you too much when you really time to grind and get the paper and exercise you then don't don't really bother with it because at the end of the day you don't want to go and pick art or french or spanish or some some subject that you might be like you know that's actually really makes sense you know and then the next two classes you drop out but don't even bother right save save your money what did i say i said save your money i'm sorry yeah save your money you never know what you might need help it in life at some point you just never know you never know what tomorrow might look like now why am saying to live your life like you could you know take your time and think but what i'm trying to say is like 
see, like, just like I was giving you advice for these sandals, fours and fives and just now, like I was telling you to see it. Get the same plastic bag if you if you don't have a big enough wallet or like a shoe box because we know we, we know we like to get the shoes and things. You know, especially since we go on and buy the new school shoes, we use on our box, right? And put our money in there. And what you guys can also use is like go on Google or for like the girls, you could go on Pinterest. And I'm saying girls, yes, because when you check these statistics, it's like 90% or at least 95% of females on that app um so yeah go on google or pinterest and look for saving in spores and i know there's one that i save actually i'll see if i can find it but if not it's basically like it's giving you like random numbers like 50 25 27 100 200 27 80 i oh gosh <laughs> right and it's basically saying like okay so today i'll come home with 27 dollars I didn't, I didn't eat no lunch, so that's the twenty-seven dollars. I scratch out the twenty-seven dollars, and you keep going until you fill out the whole entire page, or at least, if you see it on Google and you print it out. Obviously, you can't screenshot it because you can't cross out the thing. You could write them. You don't get a scrap, a, you know, a scrapbook or whatever. Take a sheet out of the book and throw up the same table. You know, to be clean and crisp. Come on, this is your thing, right? And you know. You scratch it out, scratch it out every day, and next thing you know, you would have maybe twenty thousand, twenty thousand dollars within a short or long space of time, right? Depending on whichever goes your mind on. And like I said, and I was telling me the um the primary schoolers, you know, like you might want to do something for vacation, you might want to, you know, go to bed with your cousins and your aunt and them for christmas you know do something different and who knows you could pay for the whole trip and everybody just come with the 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 food money because you obviously you want to go and spend all your money right on that you understand but what i'm saying is if you guys start saving like really soon like like say now i'm telling you by the time you finish school i'm i'm sorry i'm sorry if you're finishing school next year but at least you know what you can do from the space from now to next year that can have you from twenty dollar savings or zero dollar savings to like a ten dollar a ten thousand and who knows you have prom and thing coming up so you might wanna you know sponsor everybody at the table right you know what all the all the take whatever you want and I pay for everything. What do you call any money man? <laughs> you know so yeah guys and it will also help you in the long run when it's time to purchase a car purchase a house you know that kind of thing and it's someone like oh this boy that that's someone like a little too much for me but no you actually can you want to break generational curses you want to not get your wife and have your kids and you still live in a mommy and daddy house we don't want to be rented now i'm saying you know do rent like sometimes you just have to rent and you know we don't want to live our entire lives renting that's what i'm trying to say right um so you know once we save up we save up we save up we save up we could buy the house we could at least have the 10 percent deposit ready for the bank so at least you know it's just for the bank to you know help you and you know your job at the same time because you will need that job to you know pay off as the you know the month to go by right but at least you will have your 10 percent from your school savings right don't want to know but how you were 17 and you know how was 18 you know not finished school and ready to buy a house well you you were, you were telling them about me <laughs> right and you know like you guys save and stuff you guys save and you know you can buy a house and let me tell you something though also don't be quick to tell everybody that you're saving yes i know like the older you get so like let's say you're from four from five from three or at least you're just known for letting people know what time it is let me tell you something Earlier, I saved it. I can't go out and think I, it's not like I don't want to go out, it's not like I'm ducking only, but I really try to save so I could, you know, when we reach 20 and think only go come over by me and I went over, went over all I want. I really had it and they were telling me XYZ, you understand? And they might not understand it, or at least when it's time to buy a car, it might not be the best brand, it might not be the latest one. It might not even be a showroom vehicle, meaning you know, come out exactly from the brand instead of paying that TT. Oh, oh gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. But all I got what I'm trying to say, right? All I got what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to tell you guys, like, hey, 
like what's happening <laughs> um but yeah like don't worry about what people are to say and think because you know i'm gonna tell you something is i'm saying people go in and be like eh, hello um i want to go in town and pick up a little you know couple of things and pick up Soraya from school you could you know you think you could do that for me when you're finished you know from work or whatever we're fine when it's finished kind of you mean it's, it's by you you don't come in it's by you in the same car that they were telling you about when you was in school you are coming and sit down in your car you know. and half of the time them can't even drive and if they was to ask you to drive the car you can't tell them no <laughs> right so so let me tell you don't have to be hard about them same thing with the house obviously you don't want to go and tell them you know i want to save our house save our car because not everybody has good intent but at least you just let them know you're saving you're saving and obviously you don't want to go and say you know save your whole life just for them things you could save you know like the 500 that you saved from school this week just for example the 500 i saved from school this week right or to go and climb or whatever right you could you know save a little 200 and little you know 500 the next time and you could use that to go to different so at least you know you're still enjoying yourself or while you're saving it's just when you're saving and when you're going and enjoy yourself right so guys learn to cook and i think i said that for the same um no i didn't i don't think i tell them to cook though but learn to cook at this big age okay it might be 13 14 and form one but learn to cook we can't be making bread and cheese all the time we can't be boiling egg we can't be boiling rice we can't be frying sugar <laughs> we can't be doing the basic things alone we want to be in a you know we want to be in a position where you know we we want to go by auntie this weekend but auntie had to go out on one of the the evenings and i since i will be the older one you know she might have to order thing but is how she gonna get if if she had the money on her card or we have to tell auntie auntie when i come up by you friday we could go in the grocery buy a few things and i go make a little something for me and my cousins and tell me if we go do a little movie night and you could be like what you could do anything and there's not no hot dog and ramen okay uh, let me. i have cousins who are eight seven six years old making ramen who are you 40 60 70 making ramen and calling that on me no we want to be able to make at least a little chicken on fredo and it's not a little crazy but there's literally just macaroni fried some chicken and some cheese and thing yeah like we simple simple but yet it's very effective obviously you'll have to learn how to do it but like i said that's how you learn how to cook right also learn to iron and thing it can't be 16 and waking up mommy 7 o'clock in the morning it's no and at least the night before or if you have all your shirts you're washing everything sunday i and them all turning and it has some people that we just them just love them just love the to waste of the whole two hours before school yes the whole two hours because someone has school from eight seven to nine you're waking up seven o'clock regardless right who or they just like to rush or they just like to be in the car scraping all the edges you know trying to look why 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 is there need to rush you should be able to use that time to you know you know catch up on a little homework check back just to make sure you do your homework you know eating a little a little something nice a little hot dog with a little lettuce and corn and pineapple and you know take your time and really use that two hours before you, you enter the school of crazy <laughs> don't expect plenty from people because when you expect plenty from people that's how you get your heart broken and the reason why you're getting heart broken is because you know you gotta do it yourself but you go and ask that person the person tell her yeah they go and do it but they do it you know when you really ask them to do it and it's like i wasn't looking for you there and you know i have to go and do it myself now and now we'll have you watching them different versus as you know doing it for yourself and it's like you know what i do it for myself so whatever happened is you know is, is on me you understand um 
so yeah guys just just learn to do things for yourself don't expect plenty from people what's going on with me don't expect plenty from people because when i tell you when you expect plenty from people it's like it going on it gonna really mess with you it really is going to mess with you and um and then and we all know we don't all say it i would have never okay maybe okay we don't all say it because have some people are just they like that but what i'm trying to say is like i would have never do it to you so why is this you doing it to me i thought just my dog i thought just my partner i thought just my girlfriend when i say girlfriend i mean like girlfriend but yeah that too <laughs> um yeah. be happy and live in every moment not every moment you have to you know this is why he did to go back home for this now i know some situation you just really can't hold it um but try your best to live in every moment the last time i lived in a moment and was actually enjoying myself my inner child that came out was i think like two or three weeks ago and i spent some time with my cousin and um we went to movie town you know the the tree but that is just put it on i'm getting emotional <laughs> no because it's like you know i i don't i don't even remember the last time i really felt happy try to be able you know, to live your life and live in every moment you know obviously we can't always live our life the way we want it but at least we trying to make the best out of it um and then even a simple thing you know just thank god for for life you know at least wake up every day and be like you know i turn for that i have life because like me i'm thankful that i have life because recently like i went to school with a young lady and she committed suicide and till this day i am still thinking about it because it's like no way and it, i'm not just her but i also had another friend from school and she also committed suicide it's like yo like you need to be so grateful for life and let me tell you something hell is real but jesus is real and let me tell you like if you guys could make an extra effort and be like hey i know you're really going to anything but remember this just for now if we move out if we move out we go be in a better place if we if you know we just go back on the for the weekend we go feel a, a little something but we know the pressure and everything is just we come in and hit one after the other but hey we will be in a better place and i tell you that will really help you it will it has helped me from you know not getting into jail i'm not even joking <laughs> all right um think wisely okay think about what you are going to do if it's gonna you know affect people negatively or positively you know um so like stealing killing you know that kind of thing and when i say stealing it, it literally doesn't have to mean any night when people sleeping you're born take the fridge and go <laughs> no i mean like take she lip gloss and say it's yours take she top say it's yours that's my cool that's my scrunchie that's my woogie you know like just think about it. obviously like some people is like you really like that and just leave it like me you really like that and just leave it and you know keep it pushing and then some people is like you really like that <laughs> you know but um just just think wisely just think wisely before you do anything literally before you do anything obviously in some t instances it's like nah bro like i really you know like i just i really can't so you know you do what you have to do but also think of the extent that you're gonna take it you know just just think of it just be mindful right go with god because i'm telling you he's the he's all we really have to be honest if everything was to perish all we would have is god literally don't forget to eat guys <laughs> I am hungry <laughs> no i am hungry right now but do not forget to eat do not forget to eat because you will go from being oh she looking nice and rosy to girl you stressed out you know and yes life could take a toll on us but at least we eaten right also try not to stress you because i tell you this and 
good luck. <laughs> right? But you know, try to eat, you know, sometimes school is just very hectic and you know, especially when we have that get up and get it mindset, it's like, oh my gosh, what to do? <laughs> you know, but just be mindful to eat. Add this a snack, add this something. And if it's a snack, maybe I can get a protein snack, can I wait? You know, it might be all full up a little more. Um, get, um, let's call it ensure, you know, be ensure. Get some intro, it will it will hold you up, right? Um, maybe even too, you know, depending on you know where you could really handle and where you you know. Obviously you would know yourself if you might only need half a bottle or two bottles, you know? Yeah. But don't go and drink all the people and thing you know, don't go and drink all the children and them intro now. Don't don't overdo it, don't make it a habit. Or at least you know drink an intro for breakfast and then well when you go in school you buy your alu pie and then you know that will up until lunch time or maybe even home time you know but obviously don't don't take it too far right keep up with the hygiene now it's like hygiene is cool yes hygiene is cool because you're going to school you're interacting with a bunch of school children and when you sit on the taxi you're gonna be smelling like school regardless so no matter how much protein is spray how much um body men say put in your bag the edge control Pack it here around too. Pack it here around too. If as I see another people walk holding on to the book bag with their life. Nobody in taking your dinner. Nobody taking your dinner. I'm telling you. Use it in rent and you know you can maybe get a little baby wipes. You know? Or put it in a ziplock bag because you know you might have your little sister. You can't just take she wipes because you know when mommy needs to wipe she she go be wipe. They can wear a little foil, put it in the foil, or like a little zip on back, a little plastic bag. Put the wipes in there so you know you don't dry up. And you know when it's break time, lunch time, you find yourself in your feet a little icky. You know, wipe down yourself, wipe down your arms, and then reapply the deodorant. Reapply, you know, you know, I can't say. At least three might be, right? Just three, right? One for your face, and then I can't say, you know, whatever, and then one for like your arms and your underarms and those kind of stuff and when the extra one is like a just in case if i need to right but the one for your arm and you want for like your face and all that kind of stuff that just so okay i feel a little more fresh now you know um so yeah keep up with the hygiene guys whether you're a boy or you're a girl just keep up with the hygiene right it's the least you can do okay i'm telling you because you don't want to ever be in a position where it's like but i know more nobody telling me nothing the whole time everybody in the back of their head is like where is boy he was smelling or she was smelling like me i went to school with somebody who didn't have the nicest scent and one of my friends at the time was like you know we tried telling him about it and we are planting the thing but we didn't know what we could do and i was like you guys ever thought of you know maybe buying him some stuff you know like you just never know right and uh, yeah and the least you could do is at least you know talk to them and be like you know hey you know as a friend i know we not, might not be that close but i don't know i might still come on better than your actual friends you're calling friends and i i passed i passed by a lunch time and i you know i get a little whiff and I, you know i decide to tell them about it and you'll be like serious you know i ain't really know that i know because the other times i think i hear them say it's in a bad and they take it and i thought it's just a joke but when you really go on one and one somebody and you know you tell them hey this is what it is and this is what it ain't they will really hear you understand so yeah guys it's, it's the least you can do if you see a friend with a little hole in the eye hey clean your eye it has something in the teeth look look my phone right use reflection cool look the mirror the little small mirror you always have on your pocket use that have a little nap a little extra napkin right for the girls have an emergency bag pads a little chewing gum you need your edge brush you need a little gel right um what else you need you need a spare on me um maybe a, a tight right sometimes i mean obviously you depend on your school uniform you do really need it um but i ain't saying do wear tight because it does never know in this life, right? Um, I feel like that's the main stuff. Always have some spare money in an emergency kit to girls. Like, you do that. Because, it, like I said, you just never know. At least have three parts. At least. 
in your arm in a little pouch or you know you can't pocket out your transport bag right okay yeah, guys that's it for the hygiene um the last thing is the... oh yeah i finished <laughs> so guys because i really i thought that we had something extra but i touched on it while i was talking about hygiene which is tell a friend clean your eye you know and that's how i'm gonna show you like twice -y. Just tell a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend, but don't tell a friend to tell a friend. Go and tell your friend yourself because they will watch you the front and you know if anything must happen, they're coming by you. You understand? Um, so yeah guys, that's it for this portion of the video. I hope it was, you know, very informative. I know I went into a lot of detail this time because I know the last time it was like okay i was doing makeup and i was going off on the top of my head but i know for sure you guys will benefit from this one a whole lot right but anyways guys i'm hungry just now so guys i hope you guys took notes because trust me i know i came with the tea i know i came with the tea okay anyways so right now i want to go under some work because i can't remember behind so I'm going to do some work right now and then come back and plan ahead because Christmas coming up and I want to have some good videos planned for you guys like we upload in quality right quality so I'm gonna do some work first you guys will watch me work and then I'll come back and talk to you guys when it's time to plan for December <music> stuff but money how to make um we're gonna plan ahead because this summer coming up um who doesn't love christmas period <laughs> but let me get my book i don't know where it is oh. um but yeah guys i want to do like vlogmas but i don't think i want to have it like oh vlogmas or if i do not yes i might just do it like that but yeah guys what do you guys want to see for vlogmas with because it's not like i'm gonna produce just any and anything i need to get you know you know some inspiration from you guys in addition to google <laughs> um i mean anyways so yeah guys we're gonna plan this thing
to Austin. I am I was most in love when I did the tiny version on my YouTube because it was like I wanna, you know, like have some fruit for content. You know, some stuff that you guys would enjoy. Um but so far this is what we have about sixteen, maybe fifteen. Sixteen, fifteen. Obviously there's sixteen here, but what I'm you know like I might add some to the others so yeah. <sighs> I'm ready. I, I am ready for Christmas. Maybe not you, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put you in that mood to get ready because September is just now and once September starts, that's when the one hundred days till Christmas countdown starts. But yeah guys we planned ahead and we did some work. Oh guys I actually went out with my cousin and I wanted to show you guys what our time was looking like because let me tell you something, it was beautiful. Let me tell you the sun, the sky. <laughs> sunset everything like call me a photographer <laughs> please you have nothing on me but guys that's it for today's video be sure to like comment subscribe share the video tell your auntie your granny somebody take take the phone take the tablet and you know share it up and like it up and let me also know what you guys want to see from me and I'll try my best to deliver, okay? But anyways, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye!